I'm seeing a lot at the moment of um, people where things are misconfigured on the network. So we're seeing a lot of that. Um, you know, there's vulnerabilities out there. You can't just rely on sort of Microsoft patches and all those kind of things. I'm finding that there's stuff out there that isn't patched. There's these ways hackers can get into your networks that just aren't being addressed. And there's no way of automatically doing that at the moment. So, um, yeah, we've got tools that we can use um, to help customers to address that situation um, in terms of on the endpoints and also in the cloud. Um, so we've got we've got the two different solutions for the two things and they kind of work together. So yeah, that could help out, I think. That's definitely something I'm seeing a lot of. Yeah, there's a product called Gitpol that we've been showing to people. Um, and that is basically designed to address security misconfigurations. So, but it does it in an automatic way. So you imagine if you've got an IT department and you're having to run around and disable certain protocols on the endpoints and it takes forever to go and do it. So you can be pen tested once a month, once a year, whatever you, however often you want to do it. And they give you a big list of things you've got to patch. And with Gitpol, you can obviously automate that. So we've got an agent that goes out and does all the patching for you and fixes all the issues. But it doesn't do it just by pushing patches out actually fixes the code within the applications as well. So it makes it um, a lot more reliable. It doesn't matter what versions of apps you're running. You're not pushing a new app out. You're just fixing the code in the app that stops you know, that vulnerability from it being open anymore. Yeah, so we, we look at um, solutions that can continuously monitor web applications. So all your security as a service offerings, um, the stuff in the back end basically, so up in your Amazon S3 buckets and all those kind of things, where it's stored in the cloud. Um, we've got a product called App Omni at the moment, which we are starting to show to our customers, demonstrate what it can do. Um, you know, it's a bit of getting towards the zero trust model. So everything's protected, everything's monitored. It's a bit like um, I spoke about Gitpol for doing the looking at the misconfigurations on endpoints, and App Omni will look at the misconfigurations and protect them for the cloud applications as well. So the two kind of go hand in hand with each other. So yeah, yeah, that's that's um, that's really cool offering that we're looking at at the moment. We can we'll be able to demo that. You need solutions on the endpoints that use AI to combat the bad actors using AI, obviously, where I'm coming from, sort of trying to explain it in a simple way, but they can do things like um, fake your voice, so you could think it's your boss phoning you, asking you for your 2FA code, and then you go and give them the 2FA code. So there's certain things that need to be in place, you know, um, privileged access management, for instance, so you can, um, you know, stop someone from accessing certain applications immediately if there's some sort of threat on the network. Um, and I think EDR solutions, XDR solutions that talk to each other, you know, talk to your other third party apps. So XDR is important now, AI is important on the endpoint. I mean, you can't just rely on Microsoft products anymore. They're, they're great and they're always there. Obviously, that's the 100% you've got to have Microsoft, you've got to have their EDR, you've got to have their servers, you've got, you know, you've got to have all their ecosystem. But on their own, they're not, they're not secure enough to protect you from the latest threats that are out there. And most of them are designed to take down Microsoft solutions anyway. So having a third party um, scanner that uses AI is really important these days as well. A lot of the stuff that gets through, I mean, it doesn't matter how good your security is, you can still have an end user that goes, oh, my boss has just asked me to change our bank details, that's fine, no worries. You know, they're still going to do that. So having, making people more aware of what to look for is really, really important. So I think end user awareness is a, is a big thing moving forward this year to make sure everyone is really aware of these evolving threats that are out there now as well, because it's changing, the world's changing all the time. 
And so we've got to educate our end users about all these new threats. And when you talk to a lot of people that have been in, working in the industry for years, or people that, you know, I don't know, admin clerks or whatever that just sit at their desks doing their day-to-day -day job, they might not be aware of all this stuff that's going on out there now. So those kind of things are really good. Having your, a really good disaster recovery plan contingencies in place, really, really important. Um, so obviously AI is the big thing, it's the big buzzword at the moment. And, but it is, I think this year it's gonna become huge. You know, it's something we've got to protect against as well as use against the attackers as well. I've seen some stuff recently about the quantum computing becoming big now. So at the moment it's not sort of wide, widely available. And as you know, hackers are starting to get hold of quantum computing stuff, they've got, they've got the power out there to decrypt normal encryption algorithms now. So what they do is they'll, they'll steal your data, then they will unencrypt it later and they'll go away, but they, they can use quantum computing to decrypt stuff now. So I found that, that, that was something I came across recently that moving into this year and towards the end of this year, that's going to become quite big that we've got things that are encrypted um, with algorithms that can protect against quantum computing as well. So that's a new thing that you might not have heard of. So they can get hold of sales at calltocloud.co.uk or um, simply just email me. You know, my email's not a, sec it's not a secret. It's chris at calltocloud.co.uk, which is really nice and easy. Um, yeah, and I can chat about anything really. Sentinel One my, is my sort of specialist subject. And talking of AI, they've got a new AI module out in the next month, which is basically called D uh, Purple AI, and it will allow people to do threat hunting, but instead of needing to know all the code that you type in, to actually go and look at the threats on the network and look at the computers and find out what's going on, you can actually type it in in natural language. So you could put you know, how many out-of-date versions of Java are running on my network, and it will do the code for you and that sort of thing. So that's coming very, very soon. And it'd be good to chat to people about all the other modules they do as well. So, yeah.